All right, what up, you guys? So, in this video, you're gonna see the games I have tried. Um, Marvel Rivals is a really weird one for 13th, 14th gen CPUs. It does use Unreal Engine 5, so that is part of the issue. Uh, just weird voltages, spikes, and that from the game. Could be your motherboard as well. It doesn't matter if you're on the updated BIOS or not. Um, from what I have tested, I've done many, many tests. Uh, a fix that you've seen before on one of my videos and uh, was disabling hyper threading so now I did one with hyper threading and all the videos that I saw on YouTube and search the forums as well everyone's telling me put the CPU to an offset value for the how much voltage it's gonna take it put it to offset and up the voltage I'm like okay but that doesn't exactly help you if the game or that is going to make it so it takes as much voltage as it wants so as it needs or, or it could just spike and it doesn't really need that voltage at that time because it's not instant. It's not as fast as what a lot of people may assume. And if you get like a spike in voltage while you're gaming, especially if you're gaming and recording, what can happen is it can just spike in voltage, just that little bit crash because it doesn't actually need that voltage. It's too much voltage for it and it's just crashing because it could be not on a full like load and need that voltage. And when it's taking it, it's just, it's going to take that voltage and then the cores could be one of the cores, just one of the cores could be taking the voltage. That's just too much. And it's just crashing that core. And from what I found, as you can see here is I put everything to, 1.356 it says on this in the motherboard BIOS what I did all right so this is Simbench R23 I want to do a throttle test so it's a 10 minute test during the test just checking out the temperatures and the wattage and all that everything seems to be just fine hitting 238 watts 98 C after the test and again this is the final of the test 22,238 points again 1.365 volts fixed V core so very happy and uh, yeah, so let's continue. Was I set it to gaming mode? So just eight cores. Hyper threading is enabled, so it's gonna be eight cores in 16 threads at 5.6 gigahertz. Everything that I've been going through all these videos and everyone's saying put like a 13900K or KF down to 5.4 or a 13900KS put it to 5.5. All P cores. I'm like, what? Like, I run mine at 5.8 generally. 5.8 on all P cores, hyper threading enabled. Right now I'm at 5.6 gigahertz, as you can see right here. 5.6 gigahertz. It dropped down to the 5 gigahertz, but not during the game. Gaming, it's hitting 5.6 perfectly. Um, but what I did was set 5.6 gigahertz, all P cores, hyper threading enabled. And everyone's telling me to put these offsets. And the offset, just you don't need an offset. If you maybe have a, a degraded CPU, like it's got to be from a certain bin and you've been using it for a very long time. I'm a hardcore overclocker. I've put in 1.6 volts into the CPU to get 6.5 gigahertz out of it. And guess what? Don't need that. You can, like everyone would think, oh, you're degrading the CPU. Yes, you're technically degrading the CPU. As long as you're keeping the CPU cool, you can put voltage into it. You may degrade the CPU a little bit, but if, as long as you're taking care of it and you're watching the actual, it's not spiking too much while you're on a certain temperature, it's not going to degrade the CPU as fast as what you think. There are CPUs, I have CPUs that are 15 years old, have put tons of voltage through them, put them through heavy workloads, and they're just fine. From what I found was put to a fixed V core at 1.365 uh, volts. So as you see here, it finally hit 1.368 volts because that little spike. Sometimes it just needs that little spike on that core. It doesn't need it to go up to what I was seeing without this fix I did. And everyone else is what they're telling me. It was going up to 1.58 volts. I'm like. 1.58 volts at 5.6 that doesn't even make sense and it was crashing 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 cs2 crashing apex legends and it crashed in marvel rivals my rivals was crashing before i could even get into a game like as soon as i was choosing the character crash i'm like that that's just that's not a fix 
a fix is making it so you can play game after game after game. You're recording, you, you're doing this and that. You know, I'm, I'm using tabbing over the game, tabbing into the game, talking to everybody, going, you know, this is what I'm doing right now. And they thought it was pretty cool too while I was in the game. So 1.365 volts on the V Core fixed. On the Vid Max, what you'll see is it will go up past uh, the V Core, but generally not much. The Vid Max, what everyone else is telling me, is hitting one, almost 1 1.6 volts after the core voltage was hitting over 1.56 volts. So that does not make sense. And it was crashing. So I took a couple days, did a lot of tests here, and 1.365 volts at 5.6 gigahertz with 13900K seems to be working really good. Um, many games over and over and over and over. Marvel Rivals, CS2, Apex Legends. Again, Marvel Rivals is just a weird one. It crashes a lot for the 13th and 14th gen CPUs from what I've seen. And every fix is just lower the uh, the core ratio. So the P cores, lower it down to 5.4 or 5.5. .5, uh, or keep it the same, just up the voltage with an offset. I've tried it and it's not, it's not a guaranteed fix. Uh, you might get a game or two out of it, but that's about it. Disabling the hyper threading seemed to help the issue more than the actual fixes that they were saying. So I did this. Um, again, you can tell me in the comment section below if you've tried someone else's fixes and it fixed it for you. But for what I found is I did not need to do any kind of go into the install files, uh, delete this, put this in, and fix it that way. I did not. Uh, everyone's saying it could be GPU as well. It, it's more or less CPU with 13th and 14th gen. So like if you have a 13th and 14th gen CPU, it's not, uh, it could be the GPU, which is um, MSI Afterburner. So what I have is a 3070 Ti. And uh, at first, when I first started playing this game, I thought it was the 3070 Ti. Uh, generally, I do play the game with uh, an overclock of uh, 110 and uh, 1200, 1300 on the memory. And that's generally what I play it at. But for 37Ti, the issue that I was seeing was there's no issue. Um, if you do not have the updated graphics drivers, it could crash Marvel Rivals. But from every other game, it doesn't really matter. For what I tested, uh, it's just fine. But if you're playing Marvel Rivals, for sure be updating the to the latest driver, especially if you have uh, like a 20 uh, gen, uh, like 20 series and up. Uh, definitely do that. Even if you have AMD, if you have AMD, if you have like a 7900 XTX or whatever, uh, definitely update it as well. And uh, it might help your crashing as well, especially if you don't have a 13th or 14th gen CPU. But uh, if you have a CPU that's crashing weirdly, you can do a fixed core, especially for this game. Fixed core and then figure out what kind of voltage it's really liking and do tests and try it out that way. But I find the V core. Just put it to a fixed core, set it to something that works just fine for it, and leave it at that. I didn't even need to do anything for the load line. I didn't need to do anything for, like, for the droop. I didn't need to do anything for that, or any kind of offsets for anything. It's rock solid, rock solid. Game after game, Marvel Rivals. Game after game, Apex Legends. Game after game for CS2. And CS2, it can be jumpy with the frames as well, which can spike up the voltage once in a while because it doesn't need as much CPU power. It might not as use much core th at the time. Uh, locking the core as well can help for game stability as well, especially for Unreal Engine 5. Uh, any Un Unreal Engine 5, so if you check your game that you're using, it uses Unreal Engine 5. Set, uh, if you have a, like a 12th gen and up, Definitely set the P cores to just P cores and your game might not crash or might not stutter as much because it might not be fluctuating from the cores and that as much because it could switch over to an E core at one point and make you stutter or crash even because the voltages could be a little different. But yeah, that's what I did and yeah, 1.365 volts on the V core for me. Uh, max temperature while gaming for uh, I think it was six games right in a row and then making this video here now uh, 72C 69 on the actual P cores there so 72C for package 69 for the uh, the maximum which was uh, P core 5 <laughs> so that's awesome that's uh, pretty good though uh, maximum of 154 watts 
Again, uh, PL1, PL2, you can max them right out if you really wanted to, as you can see while well, gaming, 154 watts for that. And yeah, 5.6 gigahertz. That's all she wrote. Uh, 7200 mega transfers per second, seal 38. That's it. Uh, it's not even uh, overclocked, just an XMP that I enabled. And that's it. Uh, I can do a different XMP for a lower CL, but 7200 CL38 seems to be very stable as well for games. Again, if you like to see these videos, I do have a lot more videos on uh, how much RAM you might need for a game and that or uh, RAM frequency as well, just strictly RAM frequency, exact same timings and everything on different RAM frequencies, especially for Marvel Rivals. Do have a video if you like, check that out. Um, again, thanks for watching and uh, leave a comment in the comment section below if you want to see any kind of videos like this. Uh, I do take my time to try to make some very educational videos that might help you. I can go through the BIOS. I can actually make a, a video strictly going through BIOS for certain games, for settings that you might want and or need. Again, it's not very hard, uh, but uh, for me at least, uh, I am one of the best overclockers in Canada. Last year I was placed in fourth place and first place in my division. So if you would like uh, to learn more, I do have a Discord. Click that Discord link in the more tab there and uh, yeah. Again, leave me a comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, don't forget to get her done.